Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to talk about some great memes from the r slash dank memes from site19 subreddit. But first, we need to talk about uh, me and a collection of other SCP creators have come together to uh, help form an SCP store. For lack of a better way to put it and i'll just list off the other creators uh forlorn foundry guys they do a lot of live action work scp illustrated a lot of you guys have actually come from his channel so you probably know who that is uh, but he does artwork and readings and uh original stories the sherm uh the scp lord of TikTok, as far as i know and also has a youtube channel uh toad king studios who creates a variety of merchandise is um part of a uh part of a podcast is it scp fam radio uh and mr clay who has created a number of scp related um videos in law and is a very good vfx and cg artist i'm reading a little bit off of a thing over here uh, but we've started up a store with scp stuff all of us together uh, you can find all of our stuff in the same place i will say when we do uh <laughs> the store is now opened up we're going to try and bring in more creators over time um if you scroll down you'll still see my teespring ads because those are actually able to be put underneath the video but there'll be a link in the description of every video now where you can go to the scp store it's literally scpstore.org and check out all of our products all in the same place so that's that now on to the memes I will say, uh, this meme is inaccurate to SCP lore, I sleep. There are canons in which this meme makes sense, real shit. SCP memes are a part of their own individual canon, ascended. Uh, this one's by uh, underscore shoulder underscore, I believe I have three memes by him and then two or three memes by another guy. Um, <coughs> a lot of memes in these... Uh, in these videos are going to be shoulder memes but that's because shoulder posts a lot of memes to the subreddit that's how it goes uh, this reflects very heavily on a concept that i play with a lot uh, or not play with but like talk about a lot and that is uh that something that a lot of people will tell you when we're talking about scp content is that there is no canon and i used to say that a lot too because it sounds nice but i think despite the fact that everyone says it, and then it sounds really nice and it's an easy thing to get out there. A more accurate version of that is there are infinite canons. And what the third part of this meme actually says is completely true. Every article exists in its own individual canon. And if it decides it wants to reference outside articles, then cool, its canon includes those articles. I have an article up on the wiki right now, I believe it's SCP-2987, which is integrated into four different canons. <laughs> and could conceivably be con integrated into a couple of others that I haven't bothered actually connecting it to. Um, and you'd be like, how's that possible? And these, some of these canons are mutually contradictory, but where this article is concerned, it could exist in this story or in this story and still have those stories not change at all, basically is the best way to put it. So it can exist in those canons, even if those canons can't exist together. Uh, and that's true of every SCP article, by the way, even if it references another article, doesn't make that other articles information less valid. Or if something happens, say, let's say you read an SCP article and in that article, something happens to SCP-173. That does not mean that the baseline, ca baseline canon of SCP-173's article has changed. It hasn't. That means that the article you read includes SCP-173 in its own storytelling. When you read an SCP and you have absolutely no idea what the hell was going on in the article. To the discussion page. I get this sometimes even myself. Um, there was an article draft that somebody was pitching to me a while back, which was essentially, I guess, a Super Mario 64 meme turned into an SCP. And it was one of those things where it's like, when you're reading, it's going to happen in real life, too. Whenever you have someone read something that you've created and they're just like hovering over you waiting, like, what did you think? And it's like, they don't want to give away the twist, but also if you don't pick up on the twist, then 
the article doesn't make any sense to you. And that's exactly what happened with me with this article, because I had never played Super Mario Brothers 64. And the stairway thing that they were trying to get across completely went over my head. Uh, <laughs> and like sometimes they got to describe and, and uh, for me personally, if, if, if an article doesn't stand on its own and, and I, I can't understand what's going on in it, it doesn't matter if there's a reference I'm not getting. I will generally either neutral or downvote it. That's just how it is. Nab Tab was taken created this one. Series 1 authors writing some of the greatest articles on the site only to go permanently inactive. Some of the most popular articles on the site. Let's hold the word greatest for uh, the few of them that are actually of quality. I'm not saying that this is not accurate and that some of the greatest articles on the site aren't in Series 1. I think that that's fair. But um, uh, not most of them. Most of them are just very high, very highly rated and very popular. Uh, there's a difference. And, and and to be fair, there's nothing wrong with that. I always say there's nothing wrong with that because I always have to make the distinction. I feel like most people should know that already, that just because something isn't great and is popular doesn't mean that it doesn't have a value of some kind. Um, it's just not the kind of value that I would like to attribute to the word greatest. That's all I'm saying. Series 7 authors writing the strangest article you've ever read. Uh, yeah, I guess that's accurate. Let's, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. This is another Nab Tab was taken article, or uh, uh, meme, by the way. I, ser I don't know if it's the strange, see, because I've read a lot of articles on the wiki. Not as many as some people. I am not as well read as uh, I think most people would expect from somebody who does this kind of content on YouTube for a living. But um, I've read quite a lot of SCP articles and I've written quite a lot of SCP articles. And there's some strange stuff out there in the earlier series, in the later series. It's, it's all over the place. Is there maybe more of a... <sighs> yeah, yeah. I think it's because of the short form trend that got picked up more recently that's actually led to more strangeness. Um, because you can get away with it and that sort of thing. Like, if you're going to create a long article, you can create something a little bit more normal-ish. It's still an anomaly, but normal-ish. Build a character, build a couple of characters if you're going short story length. Uh, and, and build some sort of a scenario where everything uh, comes together towards an end point. Whereas if you want to write something really, really short, you've got two real options. You can go super weird or super funny. Um, there's, I'm not saying that there aren't ways to develop characters in a 400 to or less word article, or let's say 750 or word less article, uh, but it's very, very difficult to build any real connections between yourself and the reader. There's also very difficult to build tension properly for a story. So you really only have, as I said, two options, and that's weird or funny. Uh, both of those can be accomplished in less than 750 words in a way that creates a competent article. And that short form uh, trend has then led to people writing more weird stuff because that's the stuff that lands and works. It's sort of evolving on its own. People don't even realize that's what they're doing. You know, they're trying to write. I, I see them every, all the time, even sometimes from established authors, people trying to write character pieces in less than 300 words and it's just it doesn't do it doesn't work uh, i wrote a i mean the last tale i wrote which is almost exactly this exact it has almost exactly this problem is it's like 400 ish words i think maybe below 450 i think it might actually be closer to 400 regardless it's like 400 ish words and it tries to build a connection between both the audience and the viewer and build tension at the same time and it doesn't succeed on all counts. Is it good? I think so. Is it as good as I think it can be for the word count it has? Absolutely. Would it be better if it was longer? I don't know. It's That's the thing with these sorts of things. Everyone is its own concoction. Um, but it doesn't definitely doesn't build that strength, uh, a strong bond between the audience and the piece. And it definitely doesn't uh, build enough tension, I think, to build to any sort of real break point and and in real um dramatic works you want to build tension and break points multiple times build up 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 and up break 
and then up, 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 up further, you elevate and then break and then up, 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 up and up and elevate even further from the first two times. You can't even build one level of elevated tension in, you know, 500 words. So that's just my opinion on that sort of stuff. I get a little bit further away from it, but I, I do think the short form thing is the reason why we have strange articles. Let's put it that way. Is that the last one? I think. No, there's one more from wiser than you three. Yeah. Wiser than you three. <laughs> Same student, 10 minute time lapse. Yeah. Trying to read enough. So I actually gave myself, um, actually tried to read inevitable. I read the core article. Well, probably maybe the core article. I don't actually, I didn't get far enough into it to know if that probably shifted and changed. I would bet it does. And then I read the first tale that was part of it, uh, or I started to read the first tale that was part of it, and I just got bored. The whole thing bored me. And I know it must have must not have bored everybody because it was a very popular article, but it's a little bit like, I I don't know. I I don't want to be that guy. I know I'm, oh, I'm I tend to be overly critical of SCP content on the wiki sometimes, and I, I try to dial that back but when it comes to some of the more popular new articles by people who i know and respect and i respect their writing ability i'm not saying that they're okay i'm not saying they're bad right inevitable is not bad but it is a little boring and it's very long and when you have very long articles that are also a little boring you start to lose interest in reading the rest of it the pacing just doesn't hit properly for me. Um, and and this is like, it's not just with this kind of stuff. I'm talking about popular articles that I just don't like. Uh, Why? Or um, the one about the fairies. Um, 5,000? Yeah, it's 5,000, I think. Is it 5,000 or 4,000? Either way, 4,000, 5,000 um, are just, they're just not my favorites. Not by a long shot in the, if we're looking at the num the ones that were in the contest with them, but they're the ones that won. So they must be, they must have some level of quality to them and they are pretty good. They're all right. I mean, they're inoffensive, middle of the ground. Uh, that's the worst thing you can, that's the worst compliment you can give to somebody is that well, it's not bad, it's not good. It's right there in the middle. Uh, but when it comes to winning a contest, getting a lot of views inoffensive and in the middle is exactly what you want uh if you inspire strong emotions in a smaller group of people um you failed at a contest entry period you want to have something that's in the middle slow and steady wins the race you don't want to offend too many people with it because you every offended person is a person that's not voting on it and and these contests voting is important it's a better article with less people viewing it is always going to lose to an inoffensive but all right article. And that's just how the contests work. And I, I like to think that's, the, and again, I like to think that's the reason why I don't like most of the contest winners or even some of the higher placing contest entries like uh, Inevitable. But uh, that also feels dismissive because I haven't, for example, okay, so for, the, for why or uh, the fairy one, what's it called? Oh, man. Um, it's the funny part is there's a meme about the title of that one. It's taboo, taboo. So me not being able to remember the exact name and calling it something different every single time is hilarious. Um, and on point. Uh, but inevitable, I didn't finish. So maybe it is great. Maybe it gets better. Um, but the early pacing was for me, terrible. So I didn't finish it. It was just okay. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for, I believe that's the last meme. Yep. And, uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you go check out the SCP store at scpstore.org. Make sure I got that right. Yes, I did. Uh, and then hit the subscribe button. That's very important. Hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian like everybody here on the screen already has. Including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. And MC Cashmill, who has pledged at $50. Everyone who has pledged this month, don't worry. Your names will be in the uh, uh, first video I start doing at the beginning of next month. 
I very much appreciate that, that number has gone up and up and up because it's because the ad revenue is oh, going down and down and down. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on actually, you know what, real quick, you want to see me again? Join our Discord server. Our Discord server has a link in the description. If you want to talk to me about certain stuff, I'm not always around, but I'm around a lot, and I do uh, do respond to people. Um, yeah, join our Discord server. There's a link in the description. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday. Took me a second again. <laughs>